Jesus Christ is the power behind every mysterious force in the universe. And did you know that there are mysterious forces in the universe? There are forces that even the best of scientists with the greatest of minds can really not uh, understand. Um, he is gravity, for example. He is centrifugal force. Um, he is centripetal force. Uh, Jesus Christ is the energy of the universe. Uh, John MacArthur, in his commentary on Colossians, quotes uh, an old book, uh, but a good one, uh, by uh, a man named Lee Chestnut. Uh, the little book is called The Adam Speaks. And uh, in this book, um, Chestnut writes, let me read to you, uh, Consider the dilemma of the nuclear physicist when he finally looks in utter amazement at the pattern he has now drawn for the oxygen nucleus. Come on, come on, come on to science class. For here are eight positively charged protons inside the oxygen nucleus, closely associated together within the confines of this tiny nucleus. With them are eight neutrons, a total of 16 particles, eight positively charged, eight with no charge. Now, earlier physicists had discovered that like charges of electricity repel each other and unlike charges attract each other. In fact, the entire history of electrical phenomenon built upon these principles known as, remember this in school, Coulomb's Law, all right, of electrostatic force and the law of magnetism. You're like, well, what, what's wrong? Here's what's wrong. What is holding that nucleus together? Why doesn't it fly apart? And therefore, why do not all atoms fall apart? Chestnut goes on to describe the experiments performed now um, um, uh, almost 100 years ago. Way back in science, powerful atom smashers were used to fire protons into the nucleus of the atoms. Those experiments also gave scientists an understanding of the incredible, uh, powerful, a force that held protons together when they should have flown apart within the nucleus. Here it is. Scientists have dubbed that the strong nuclear force. They have no explanation for why it exists. The physicist George Gamma, one of the founders of the Big Bang Theory, origin of the universe, wrote this, quote, the fact that we live in a world in which practically every object is a potential nuclear explosion without being blown to bits. He just marveled at that. Carl Darrow, a physicist at Bell Laboratories, agrees and says this. You grasp what this implies? It implies that all the massive nuclei have no right to be alive at all. Indeed, they never should have been created, and if created, they should have blown up instantly. Yet there they all are. Some inflexible inhibition is holding them relentlessly together. And I would suggest to you that the force holding them together is not so much a force as a person. And I believe that when Colossians says that Jesus Christ, see it there, in him all things hold together. And do you know that 2 Peter chapter 3 talks of a day when um, the heavens will pass away with a roar and the elements will be destroyed with intense heat and the earth and its works will be burned up? What I believe is, is that Jesus Christ will uh, withdraw his sustaining uh, power and the entire earth as we know it will explode and in that sense melt prior as God's judgment prior to uh, you know, the new heaven and the new earth uh, coming down. And uh, Coulomb's law will take effect, and all of that will fly apart. And yeah, not super outrageous at all when you grasp what the Bible reveals about Jesus Christ and who he is. It's not remarkable that he commands us all to put him first in everything. It's remarkable that we wonder about or wrestle with it. 